In this final Google Sites tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage some of your site settings and about some of, the, some of the miscellaneous resources available through Google Sites, including subscriptions and notifications, how to delete a site, checking out the revisions histories, sites help that's available through Google, and how to print pages. Um, the first thing is to be uh, allow yourself to be notified whenever um, changes are made to a page or to your website. So if you're collaborating with someone on a site, it might be helpful for you or necessary for you to know when they make changes either to a page or to the site. If you click the gear, again this is our pretty much our go-to menu, um, and go down to manage site, this is where you're going to find um, some of these settings. Now um, first things first is whoever actually creates the site, who's like the owner of the site, they're the ones that has they're the one that has the manage site option. So I've um, helped several people make Google Sites in the past and it's been important for me to make sure that they create them or that I create them underneath of their account so that whenever they have learned the process and are fully managing the account that they have um, access to all of the settings. If you want to be if you want to subscribe to changes to a page you simply click on the subscribe to page changes under this menu. And you have to do that for every page unless you want to just be notified anytime there's um, a change made to the entire site, in which case you select subscribe to site changes um, from this menu. And it's going to pop up and tell you that you'll be notified when changes are made to the site. Under the manage site menu, you have lots of options. We've been in here before. Um, this is where you can change the name of your site. Uh, you can do some other things like adding um, categories, a description. Um, you can make a copy of the website here. And this is where you would go to delete the website. So if you're just like, for instance, once I'm done with this, I'll delete this one um, because it was just really to show you how to do this, not something that I need to keep forever. Um, so that's how you delete your website. Um, remember, anytime you're in the Manage Site menu, you always have to click Save to make sure that your changes um, are actually saved and take effect. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the gear again. And the second option is something called Revision History. If you click on Revision History, this is going to show you all of the changes that have been made to this website um, and when they've been made. So, interestingly, um, ones that have been made long ago, um, it kind of converts to just that day. Whereas right now I can go back half an hour, an hour, you know, whatever. Um, once it's been a day or two, you actually can only go back to the final changes that were made on that day. Um, if anybody else collaborates with you on this um, site, then any of their changes will be shown here as well. Okay, so back to my site. Um, the next thing is Sites Help. So again, if you go under the gear and you go down to Sites Help, this is going to pull up a, a variety of options. So you can type in your question here or your topic of what you're looking for, or you can click Browse All Articles, and it will open a new website that has tons of different um, resources for you as far as editing your website. Um, the last thing that I wanted to show you is that you can actually um, print your pages. So again, if you go under the gear, you can go to print page, and it's going to pull, pull up a printable um, copy of the page. Um, and obviously, just select your printer and print from there like you would anything else. Okay, that's Google Sites in a nutshell. Thank you for joining me.